Hello there my good friend it is nice to see you again. And it is nice to see you too. I hope all is well. The other day I was reading an article in the newspaper when they presented me with a tough decision to make. There is an old library on the edge of town that is falling apart. Some people would like to take it down and replace it with a Starbucks coffee house. I certainly do love coffee and the idea of venti frappuccinos sounds appealing. But there is also a group of people who would like to save the old library. They state that the library still serves a useful function for the community. I can understand what these people are saying since I also use the library on occasion and enjoy having the service available in my community. This is a tough choice for me to make since I see the value in both sides of the argument. What you have to realize is that you're being presented with a false dilemma, meaning that you were only presented with two possible choices. The truth is that there is a number of other possibilities that could be compromised on. So for example, they could find alternative locations for either the Starbucks or the library. Something else they could do is allow Starbucks to operate its business inside of the library. There are so many possibilities that I could probably stand here all day listing them off, but what you were subjected to was a false dilemma by only presenting you with two choices. I believe I am starting to understand. Starbucks has their own interests and the people who want to save the library have their agenda. But the truth is that the issue is not a dichotomy. I do not have to choose one side of the issue or the other. Exactly, I would take a more divergent thinking approach and try to brainstorm as many different solutions and compromises as possible. Then I would present the ideas for debate. I see the errors in my reasoning. I was allowing myself to limit my scope of possible solutions to the interests of the two parties involved. This must happen all the time. This type of black and white thinking does in fact happen all the time. The best way to avoid this situation is to not allow yourself to only be presented with a limited number of options for possible solutions. That is interesting. With 2012 being an election year I feel that I am forced into having to vote for the lesser of two evils. I do not feel that I have any other options. But the truth is that you have a number of options. The problem is that the mainstream media only presents two options so most people are not informed about other possible candidates. Now I see the errors in my way over all these years by engaging in the false dichotomy that we call partisan politics. From here on out I am going to consider myself an independent to ensure that I do not fall into the false dilemma trap again. Thank <music> you.